Hello everyone, my name is Dmitry Vinnik and I'm a developer advocate on the Facebook open source team. Today I'm going to explain a project Metro to you like you're 5 years old. Metro is a development platform for React Native. This project acts as a JavaScript bundler, manages assets, caches builds and performs hot module reloading. Metro focuses on improving the developer experience for the React Native community. As developers work on their code, there is nothing more frustrating than seeing your app taking forever to reload after you make a simple change. That's why Metro emphasizes speed and aims for sub-second reload cycles, fast startups and quick bundling. Because Metro has been used here at Facebook ever since it was first launched, scalability and reliability are battle-tested on our large codebase. Metro can easily work with thousands of modules in a single application. As the common saying goes, if you want people to do something, make it easy. That's why Metro by design supports every React Native project out of the box. In other words, you don't have to do any heavy lifting to make Metro work. It's integrated from the very start. Metro was first open sourced in 2017 by Facebook. It was originally part of React Native, but it was later split from the project, so it would be easier for the open source community to use, report issues, and contribute back to the project. Would you like to learn more about Metro? Metro has excellent documentation that includes getting started, troubleshooting, and configuration guides for the project. If you'd like to ask a question or meet the community behind the project, join Metro channel on their Discord. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and if you'd like to see more about Metro on this channel, please give this video a thumbs up.